What is going on, guys? Welcome back. Commentary for you. Again, promise you videos all night. I want to talk about this first and foremost, though. Face of the franchise. Classic franchise. Tuesday, June 30th. Expect a big day then, too. I'm expecting a lot from franchise. They owe us a lot at this point. Because, you know, when I think about gameplay feedback, I don't think about franchise. I think about these things. Let's talk about this for a minute. Player fatigue for out-of-position ball carriers. I mentioned in a prior video, this to me is game tuning, okay? This is not a feature. This is not something that should be put in a dev blog. This is tuning the game. Madden 20 was a year of the gadget play for many. A lot of players told us it was relied too consistently for offense. And to me, when I think about that, it's not that players relied upon it. It's because it worked because the defenses are so broken. You have to fix the defense first. And rather than do that, EA always wants to take kind of these easy way outs where now you have a player who's not a running back by trade, like a quarterback, wide receiver, tight end, is going to have a depletion in his stamina, especially on tackles and hits, to the point that if you keep running Wildcat, you keep running the jet sweep touch pass or the quarterback blast, that you're going to have to sub them out of a play or out of the game for them to get their energy back. Well, that really doesn't fix the problem. That just limits how many times you can run the play. And I also think it's very interesting they go on to say this is going to have a significant reduction of fumbles by scrambling quarterbacks on all game styles except all Madden competitive. We know that one of the biggest issues this game has had is sliding quarterbacks and how that impacts the game. So those are really online gaming, competitive gaming issues. You're not fixing the core issue. You're not fixing the defense. But rather, you're kind of nerfing the offense. You're never going to balance the game that way. So when we talk about that balance as we move on to this, balance for repeated audibles, play flips, and pre-play. And they talk about one of the aspects they wanted to bring was an authentic solution for spamming audibles. Again, look at why this is done. It's done to confuse the defense. It's done to keep players in motion. So just having the offense at a risk of committing a false start penalty doesn't actually fix the problem. If you audible or you flip your play three to six times, a five-yard penalty doesn't mean anything if you're going to gain it all back once the play is successful. And Clint literally sat here tonight and said, as a lineman, you know, I got confused on the second or third play. Okay, but as a lineman you were on an offense that was playing against a balanced defense to begin with in most cases where you expected reactions to be intelligent. So if you're looking at a game and you're seeing this feedback from your gamers where you've got players that are being used out of position, exploiting the defense, you've got other players that are exploiting the defense by running audibles and play flips multiple times, putting these little penalties in doesn't fix the game. It's just a, a short penalty for someone, a five-yard penalty. This is when we talk about the feedback they get from the community. What do they tangibly do with it? Don't look at how you can prevent something from happening. Look how you can fix something. That actually makes the game better. And that's where I really start to run into issues with EA when they sell these as gameplay improvements. We improved the game by nerfing people, putting players out of position. We improve the game by giving false start penalties to players that flip plays and run audibles. That isn't improving the game. That's not making the game better. Yet that is what they do every single year. I think nothing more telling about the quality of this game and where this game is than things like this right here. Love to know your guys' thoughts on this. Appreciate you checking it out. You know. I will be back in the week with more commentary.